Hello and welcome to Jura Lab. In this episode, I will show you how to properly configure resolutions in Jira workflows. Let's begin. Okay, so let's begin with uh, what happens when the resolution is net, not set yet in a workflow. So I'll create a task, a new task which will be linked to whichever epic right and the task is created and now let's see what happens when I transition uh, the task to status done so I'll press first in progress and now I will press done and have a look at the resolution field over here so I'll press done and as you can see nothing happened and nothing is set here. The resolution is still unresolved. So technically uh, the field has no value. And now I'll show you an automatic uh, configuration. In other words, how to set up resolution uh, field automatically. What you have to do is uh, firstly, let's check how the workflow what's the workflow name so it is exp task workflow and now we will have to i will have to find this workflow in my workflows so this is exp task workflow so this is the workflow i'm going to modify so i'll press edit and now i need to find the transition on which I want the resolution to be set. So I'll select this transition between in progress to done. And uh, in order to make it, uh, to make the resolution set uh, automatically, I will use the post function. So in post function, I will add post function update issue field. And here in add parameters to function, I want to change resolution and I will select resolved. So this resolution is an additional uh, resolution type. So normally in, in Jira, uh, out of the box, there will not be a resolution like that. And I'm just going to show you where you need to set, uh, set it up so it is available in this field value but now i will add this uh, post function and i will move it down okay and we can close this one so when i publish the workflow will be uh, updated and here just briefly i will show you uh, where the resolutions are stored. So resolutions are here in resolutions and this is the resolution uh, additional one that I uh, created uh, before. So here uh, I don't really care if the work has been completed or it's a duplicate or cancelled. Here I just want to have a universal resolution type because I don't want to uh, store the information what type of resolution uh, was set. Okay, so let's go back to our uh, project and we will create another task. So this is the task. Again, I will link it with task with resolution automatic. Okay. And here, when I uh, will transition the issue, the task through workflow, uh, this field resolution will be set automatically. Okay, have a look. When I press done, it is resolved. But now what happens when I change my mind and I want to go back in my workflow? And this workflow enables me to go 
back from uh, done to in progress so let's see in progress and see the resolution is unresolved uh, it doesn't happen automatically you have to go to the workflow and do another configuration uh, which is important here I'll show you uh, where it is so let's go back to workflows again exp task and here on this transition from done to in progress I also added a post function and I also added exactly the same post function which clears the resolution or sets the resolution uh, to value none. So instead of setting this to result as I did last time, I set it up to none. And that's why, uh, that's why when I transition this issue back to, uh, to from, in, uh, from done to in progress, this uh, field was cleared. All right. And now I will show you the last way which you can use to set the resolution uh, in, uh, in this configuration uh, the user will be able to set this resolution uh, himself. Right, so what you need to do is first we need to have an additional screen. So it will be called a transition screen. So I'll add a screen. Uh, and I'll call it with my naming convention exp uh, resolution screen okay and on this screen all I need to do is to have a field resolution okay and now having this screen I can go back to my workflow and I'll look for the task workflow again. All right. And now we will be modifying my previous configuration. So I'll remove the post function and I will set the resolution screen instead. However, I will not be uh, removing this uh, post function from uh, uh, which I set on the transition from done to in progress because it should stay there i still want to clear the resolution field when i go back from done to in progress and here in from in progress to done i will remove this post function so i will be removing this post function here okay and i will add the transition screen on this uh, transition and here is where I need my naming convention. With this naming convention, it is very easy to find uh, a screen, uh, all, uh, even if you have uh, hundreds of them. Okay, and let's see what happens now. I publish these, okay, and it's done. Alright, so again we have our task uh, with resolution automatic. I'll rena rename it now to manual and let's see what happens. Um, we'll press the status done and here pops up a screen on which I have to select the resolution so I cannot ignore it because the selected resolution is invalid, the message will uh, pop up. So I need to select the resolution. And here are all the resolutions that are available uh, in this Jira instance. So normally I will be using uh, the resolution done. And in another video, I'll show you what you need to do to configure only the resolutions that you really need uh, to uh, come up on this screen because I've seen uh, Jura instances where there were 20 or even 30 resolution types 
and this list would be then very very long so uh, you need to uh, set up a special configuration to limit uh, the number of uh, resolutions here or the list of resolutions here to show up for now i will choose the done uh, resolution and this resolution uh, will be visible here okay all right, so I hope you've learned something from this episode. And if you did, please let me know in the comments. And for now, this is it. Thank you for your attention. Bye bye.